I guess you could use a Max Elixir, you're already kind of low, and they're less valuable than a Reviver Seed. Mm. Or you could just, I don't know, eat the Totter Seed. <laughs> Wow, that good five belly that's gonna last me a long time. I'm just gonna I'm gonna camp here. Yeah, fair. So nobody else picks it up. Oh, can you not wait out turns when you're No. That's a little unfortunate. Sup guys? Would you like ice balls in your face? I don't really want Mel Tank. But he's new! No, but I don't want him on my team because he's gonna get stuck places. I mean, we don't have very much farther to go. Yeah, but I want to grind. We don't have it's... very much farther to go. I know, but it's a huge hassle to have a big party when you're up here. I mean... I don't want If you Mil really Tank. don't want him... I don't want Miltank. I hate Miltank. Okay. They're the bane of this fucking dungeon. We can send Steak back. Steak? Yeah. Who the fuck is Steak? Null Tank. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Joke's on you, bitch, I'm gonna die. Screech me all you like, bitch. Dying gets rid of status effects. Oh, that's true. I forgot I can attack to waste a turn. I'm just waiting to die. And then Aren't I'll wait we all? Five belly, and then I'll eat the plane seed, and then I'll pick up the reviver seed. Yeehaw! And like that, your power points are back. Death. I love power and points. like that, we get another thousand experience. Yeah, that's that three tail whips for you right that's there. That's five tail whips and a screech. Oh, did you also get screech? Yeah, I got screech. That's when I was like, okay, it's time to leave. Ah. Yeah, that was four or five tail whips plus screech. I always counted the three, but I wasn't paying that much attention after a little while. I got tail whipped at a different point in time. Get the fuck over here. Does the one in the hallway count? No. That's unfortunate. Wait, count for what? For being in the room. I'm not in a room. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> My wonder was if you could just use Powder Snow and hit no, all four of them. Powder Snow would literally hit the person in front of me. Unfortunate. Yeah, I can see what you mean. This is a much better place for grinding. Weirdly enough, the f 50s floors were also pretty good for it, but, uh... Yeah, but there's enough weird... Wait, I thought you were protective. What the hell? I thought it was too. I guess it didn't Maybe work. Maybe it wore off. I think it might have not worked, because it doesn't always work. I thought he had his thing above him, but... Honestly, bite's one of the best things you can do. Worst it does is cause cringe. Which sucks, but... Yeah, but it barely does... Uh, never mind, Bubble's the best thing you can do. <laughs> Bubble hits in a distance so he can fuck up Jacket if you're not careful. Mmm, fair. I wonder if that one had Bubble instead of Water Gun. Because their movesets do vary. Yes. They are random... They are a random selection from their level up pool. Good work, Jacket. You actually got a plus one and three stats there. Which I think is hilarious because the same thing applies to bosses. You can recruit a boss with a different move pool. Hey, uh, Yay! Oh boy! Ooh, we got a new move. What do we get? Blizzard. Blizzard? I think it only hits one person. Yeah. 
Fro in front, cuts corners. Okay. It's not very accurate. Yeah. I just don't think it's good for anything. It's unfortunate, but I don't think it's probably better than Aurora Beam no. or Water Gun. It's stronger than Aurora Beam. I don't know that the accuracy is any better. Yeah. We can also learn it for 150 Poke in town anytime. Yeah, that's true. I didn't look at the stats we got up. I didn't either. Oh well. Where are we at? Still 30,000 per level? Cool. Editing this is gonna be a bitch. Okay, it's time to go. <laughs> Not because of your editing quandary. But because something is stirring. Yeah, that means we have like 100 turns left. Or something. You'll get another warning before it kills you. Yeah. And then you get a third warning, but the third warning is like literally 10 steps away from you dying. You get that third warning and you just fucking leave because you will die. Fair. If you are not next to the stairs, a skateboard, basically. Now, if the winds kick you out... It counts as you getting killed. Oh, okay. So, so you lose a bunch of your inventory. It counts as a fail. Did that... Did it just say... Oh, mil, mil tank somewhere else. It affects the it. entire floor for some god-awful reason. Really? Yeah. Weird. OP. Huh. I think means I don't have to use moves on these guys. I don't know, but using moves is going to be more efficient. It's faster. Yeah. I mean, we have established that milk tank is, or uh, milk drink is pretty OP. use milk drink right now no really weird well, yeah no you're not hurt at all it doesn't matter his only attack move is by wow congratulations you're really shit <laughs> you're really living up to your name we're just gonna slowly dig out this place Fun fact, you can dig out as much as you want as the walls manually, and you'll still be in a hallway. So it doesn't matter. So this particular room would still be, the, the, the confides of this room would still be considered a room, even if you dug out everything else around it. Yes. That would all still be considered a hallway, whereas yes. just this little spot would be considered a room. Yeah, and you can tell because once you're in the actual room, uh, you no longer you have the see. yeah, you no longer have the little spotlight on you. You're no longer blind. By the way, without X-ray specs, you can't see Pokemon when they're outside your little light area. Yeah. The fact that I can see a Pokemon is solely due to the fact that I have X-ray specs on. Which is why it's one of the better items. I like it. I like knowing what's going on. In the in the remake, you just automatically have that feature of always knowing where all items and all Pokemon are. Yeah. But... I love missing three times just so I can get told to, that I need to miss more. <laughs> I just want XP! Honestly, I almost feel like we should have taken Blizzard over Aurora Beam. It might have been more accurate. <laughs> I wonder what his fourth move is. Probably flamethrower. Stupid. Flame wheel. Flamethrower, most likely. No, they don't have flamethrower. Yeah, they do. They used it on you. Have they? I thought they used flame wheel. They used ember and flamethrower. Oh. Hey, shop time. Finally. For all those items that I need to get rid of. All right. Who knows, they might have uh, more Reviver Seeds so you can continue to grind for longer. Very solid chance, to be honest. Can you sell keys? Yeah, but they're only worth one. Oh, not worth it then. No. 
Although to be fair, I suppose there's no reason you would ever want to sell keys. They want to de-incentivize it. Yeah. Uh, there might be a reviver seed there. Orange gummy. Oh yeah, we do have dig. Yeah, thousand. Oh yeah, for five or six. Unless you want to sell a max elixir. What I actually want is gummies. Because gummies are belly. And I still have some max elixirs I can use if I have enough belly to warrant You him. still need to talk to him. Oh. No, I oh. talked to him. Okay. I thought I thought your talk to him was uh for how much you were selling to I him. I didn't sell anything is the reason. Okay. Normally, yes, but I didn't sell, so it was Moon. Fair. I suppose you also could have, like, waited until you needed to use any of those items, and then... Yeah, that's went fair. ...and, after you had used them, gone that and filled up your smart. inventory. I'm very lazy. Yeah, it also just takes more time. Yeah. I have to go back there on purpose. And it's already getting late, so... The good news is, is we can finish any time. That's true. But it's just like, we got here, might as well take advantage of the grinding. Yeah. I mean, it's either we do it now, or we grind, or we work our way all the way back up this dungeon again later to do it later. <laughs> well, I mean, I will, but... Yeah. Not on, not on recording time. This floor is so big, I actually have to hunt these bitches down. <laughs> Yeah, not not the best kind of floor to be well, doing this. Well, it's actually in. not terrible because all this time that I spend hunting people down gives everybody else more time to spawn. That's fair. We do have a lot of people spawned in right now, mm -hmm. which means all I gotta do is hunt them down and kill them. Oh, also, Mill Tank could take an item. Oh yeah, fair. That is one advantage to uh, having a party member, they are worth one inventory spot. As they're exactly <laughs> one advantage. <laughs> not afraid of you. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. I'm you not might, afraid of you. You might want to be afraid of him if you keep missing, though. At least Powder Snow is really usually it's pretty good. It's more accurate. Yeah. And you can he's use good it from XP range. And he's easy to kill. Yeah, you're very easy to kill. Fuck you, Mill Tank. Oh, oh boy, sunny weather. That means Ooh, our. Look at all this Pokemon over there. That means our water gun is not going to be as good. Heat wave. <laughs> okay. Okay. You can survive that jacket. Oh, jacket could Heat barely wave. survive that. Heat wave is powder snow. But scary. And it's powered up because of the sunlight. Yeah. Don't care. Don't use heat wave. Good work. Fuck you, drink shit. Why is he getting better levels than everyone else? He's, he's so a worthless. Fast level category. Well, his stats keep going up twice. He's getting like two to three times the stats of everyone different else. Different Pokemon have different stat growth values. Uh. There's a chart of them in the back of the book. Nice withdraw. Did it save your life? I'd much rather they have flamethrower than heat wave, honestly. It's much easier to uh, ensure 
Well then, uh, it's much easier to ensure uh, that you are in the line of fire for a linear move like flamethrower than it is to ensure that no one else is in the room with you <laughs> for a uh, move like heat wave. Tank. Oh no, yeah, he's biting. Job. Whatever will you do? Bide me, bitch. Hit me! Bide me! They really don't like corners. They also really don't like water. But they do like to stomp. Oh, sure. That one has stomp. Ours doesn't have stomp. You know. Yeah, an no actual is the ghost worst move. Pokemon. Okay, guys. Get the hell over here. Good job, Jacket. But your stats are kind of shitty. <laughs> well, I mean, we've been taking 30 XP per level for, like, most of our levels now. Yeah. And we've gotten most of our levels now. Yeah, we've gone up, I think, I think 14 or 15 I levels. I think we entered at 34. So I made some comment about level 36, and I got in, and I was like, oh, we're not actually level 36 yet. Well, that was close. Oh, uh, sheer cold. One it shot. Hits. I don't know if that's better than Aurora Beam, but we could always I get Aurora try it. Beam back. I don't know if it's dependent on level difference like it is in main series games. Yeah. Maybe it's going with the Gen 1 and it's dependent upon your speed. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, if it is level difference, then... It'll probably never work until we're done grinding, but, uh... It's funny. It is funny if it does work, which it looks like it probably doesn't. It's cool. Maybe it's just like a 10%. It's like... an interesting animation, too. Oh, okay. calamitous damage! So it does work. Well, he's... It might be like die. a 10% chance to hit. Oh. All right. Good vibes. Interesting. So it's not level dependent. Well, which... I mean, it could be influenced by. Oh yeah, like there's always the possibility that the higher, maybe it has like a thirty percent chance, and then the higher your level that you are to the opponent, the greater the hit rate or something like that. I don't know. Um, that's how it works in base game, except you have to already be a higher. Okay, level so than we your missed opponent. five in a row, and now we've hit four in a row. <laughs> Five in a row. Huh. So yeah, we missed- It might just be a 50-50. <laughs> and we got really unlucky for a number of dice rolls. getting really lucky. I mean, hell, we've done that with Aurora Beam. Yeah. So. Honestly, we hit five times with 10 PP. I think we normally hit about seven or eight times with 17 PP. Yeah. This might not be a perfect long-term investment, but it's fucking fun. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with it so far. I doubt it'll work against bosses. That would be fucking hilarious. If we have any PP going into the boss, we'll try all 10 PP. Okay. Something's approaching. Okay, the fuck out. All right, kiddos. Get the hell away from this thing. Make sure I won't. And let's see if we can shear coal Mewtwo. All right, here we go. Basement floor 99. Was it you who disturbed me in my sleep? No, that was probably Gengar. Was it you? It was all those Blastoise and Charizard that have been fucking around your dungeon. It was probably either Gengar or Gordivar. Those are the two that impede nightmares. Guppy. Or dreams, whatever. Hi, Mewtwo. He got grabby fingers. My name is Mewtwo, and I'm an alcoholic. I came, I came into being only to fight. That was a weird way to say that. I have secluded myself here and suspended. Why did you suspend yourself? Would you like yes. to know why? It's quite simple. Fuck you, buddy. If anyone such as you were to come along, what about such as this? 
I could defeat them at full power because I haven't been training at all. I've just been laying around. Okay, Frieza. I should throw a beauty scarf at him. No, we need those. We use a key for that. I'll use a powder snow just for fun. Yeah, I was gonna say, you can powder snow him once until he gets to you. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know if the sheer cold is, n is needed does for this. Does mist prevent sheer cold from working? I don't know what mist does, to be perfectly honest. I think it's just... Okay, so if we don't hit him, pressure doesn't activate. <laughs> Which makes sense, because if I use powder snow and absols in the room... There we go. <laughs> Ayo. When I ever used powder snow and absols in the room, it didn't use the, do the pressure symbol until it actually hit absol. That's true, that's true. We did it. We have better stats now. And we have two new buttholes. That we'll get never for. go and see. <laughs> no, we will when we're trying to figure out who the fuck is who. Oh, that's true. That's true. We'll look at the flag and get And Jacket was up. very important. I think he might be our highest level friend. Yeah, he's not our best one. Oh my god. Now gave us a penis. Well, yeah, it's going up Pelipper Thank right you, now. Pelipper. I mean, actually get a good look at it. Ah, there he is. Oh, I love the penis flag. What in God's good name was the last one? Uh, it looks so familiar. The one with the fucked up eye. Yeah. I do. I don't know. I don't know what oh, it was Diglett's supposed to be. Diglett's pretty chill. It's too bad we don't have Diglett house. It's a warning. Oh. <laughs> All uh, right. They only put one on the side. I am going to get prepped for the next mission. Yeah, that makes sense. I think I can talk to Ekans again. Which I'll do first to make it easy. Oh yeah, we should probably Realize do that. ending, we'll see what the fuck Ekans wants. And then I'll do my prep when you don't have to <laughs> cut it out. Hey, 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 hey Ekans. Where's your friend? Mm -hmm. Got uh, KO'd in the dungeon, but what about Metacham? Hope she's okay. She? Alright. Okay. No Hope judgment. she gets to the end and makes my wish come true. Yeah, you wanted a bigger mouth to swallow people <laughs> whole. He's really- he should meet up with Vormi. Like, no, stop that. <laughs> what are you staring at? My name's not you, my name is this. Having a hard time trying to make up my mind. Get lost. Maybe I shouldn't be wishing for a lower jaw. Wouldn't it be better if I could coil myself tighter? Have you tried working out? Hmm. Mother. You know, you could learn the move coil. Oh my god, the whole thing. Fuck. <laughs> so, keep an eye on the board. We'll probably be getting a rescue request for this later. <laughs> Pain. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe we actually have to do rescue missions before the statue starts spawning. Possibly. I do kind of wonder if it's maybe one of the pluses, but Same. I feel like I feel like for the friend areas at the very least least it uh, explicitly said. Yes, it said friend area. Yeah. No, I might want to be on the right scene. That's true. They might have items. Ew. Hey. One item, one money slot. Perfect. You could sell those two thieves. Yeah, it takes too long. <laughs> well, we we killed Mewtwo. We need to get way too many keys. Yeah, we've got a lot of keys, so we should be good on keys for a while again. Yeah. So that'll be good. I don't know what we're doing next. Is we, is there anyone we needed to talk to that we wanted to do on screen? Or no, that was Ekans. All right, fair That's enough. Relevant to the plot. Well, this is so we have to do something while we wait for Ekans to show up. I'm not gonna go into a dungeon. I'm going to look. Let's see. We could go and recruit any legendary. I think we still have Groudon and Rayquaza. We can get. Um, yeah. How long did we go to Hell in the Forest? I yeah, that was that was now. Yes. We did we get Lugia? Yes. Your cave. We can get the bird, the dogs, the cats. We got Ho. -Oh. We can go get Mewtwo. Although that's probably better to do off camera. I'll probably do that on my own while I'm grinding. Yeah, at some that's point. better. 
Um, we got, got those two. That. Mew is just a pain in the ass. Desert region is just a fun dungeon. It's just, you go there, you can find keys. Fair enough. I think there's an evolution item at the end of the dungeon, maybe? Or in the middle? I can look it up. Southern Cavern is just a couple of Evo items and a bunch of dragon types. I or no, dragons? a bunch of ground types. Wyvern Hell is a bunch of dragon types. Solar and, Cave we've been to. Yep. Dark Knight Relic, ghost types, items hidden in the walls. Grand Sea is water types, Waterfall Pond is water types, and I think is where you can get the Waterfall HM when you lose it. Huh, fair. Unknown Relic, you can catch all the unknown. Fair enough. There are exactly enough inventory spaces for in friend areas for every, every unknown. Every single character. Only certain unknown spawn on each floor. Fantastic. Yeah, it's great. Joyous Tower is a level 1 dungeon where you can catch most of the starter Pokemon. Um, there's nothing there. It's just there to recruit it's stuff. It's just for recruiting. You can get Chansey, which is a pay. It's much better to just get a fucking... There is no happening in this game. Getting Chansey sucks. Far Off Sea, big long water type dungeon. I don't think anything's in here. Purity Forest is level one dungeon for Celebi. Ah. Uh, Pain in the ass. Wouldn't try it with any of our current Pokemon because it wouldn't work. Yeah. We'd either want an Alakazam or oh. Now you finally friend. have a friend! Dude, you're way cooler than now. He's very happy. He's so chonky. Thank you now. Stop talking, please, now. Alright. Yeah, I don't know. We'll pro maybe try and go recruit more Let's legendaries go. tomorrow. Either uh -huh. legendaries or we should go to the dragon dungeon just because there's cool Pokemon. Yeah, fair enough. But we're going to do that in a different session. Uh, cause it's late. It late. So I will. I want to look up what that fucking flag is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you want to look it up off on screen or? Pokey, Persian blue, base, flag designs. Flags. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Wiki. Figure out what that flag was supposed to be. After renovation, get a star. Okay. Okay, so there's all the starter flags, and then Smeargle's designs. Here we go. Okay, coughing, ditto, wobbuffet, polywag, spinda, pokeball, pokeball. Oh, it looks like it does just go in order. Checkered, yeah, they are. Jinx, Zatu. Oh my god, that fucked up pink one's just blank. <laughs> so on the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon wiki, it's got all of the flags, it's got little gifs of their sprite art, it's really cute. And all of them are like coughing pattern, ditto pattern, wobbuffet pattern, polywag slash polywhirl pattern. And then the only one in the entire list that's blank is that fucking fucked up pink one with lips, or maybe an ear, or maybe a hand, and the thing that looks like a drowsy giving a hug. <laughs> what the hell? Nobody knows what it is. Well... It's a mystery. What's the file name? In the comments, let us know what you the think The file is. name is 27-flag11. <laughs> In the comments, let us know what you think that flag is. Oh my god. Uh, but I think that's gonna do it for today. Nobody so. knows what it is. Oh, Cyndaquil's flag is cute. You're cute. Cyndaquil. So we will see you guys in the next episode of Mystery Dungeon.